Greetings everyone, I am Christian Bresi and I work as a software developer at MuleSoft. I will be explaining how to meet the configuration requirements for using the MuleSoft CMIS connector in a Mule project, how to use the most common operations and also from time to time we will be checking how changes are being reflected on a CMIS repository. In order to build and run this project you will need to download the CMIS workbench and you will need to download and install Mule Studio Community. We are going to start building our project now. As you can see, I have the flow done. So we are going to do a step by step the whole process. First, as we can see, we have the HTTP inbound endpoint. We are going to set up these properties like this. Localhost, the port and the path. Then we have the CMIS connector and we are going to do the first operation. First we need the config reference, so we create with the plus here the global element. Here I have one created. We complete these fields and click OK. The first operation we are going to use is the get or create folder by path. I write here an example, mule cloud connector demo video. Then we are going to upload the file. So we use the Groovy component. We can change the display name to load file and here I prepare a script. I'm using the file input stream to load a GIF. Now we are ready to upload the file to the CMIS repository. So we are going to use the create document by path from content operation. The file name is going to be usa.gif we put here the path to the folder recently created here the payload the meme type the object type and then we click OK finally to display the results in the browser we are going to use the object to JSON transformer. We click OK. We save the changes and now we are ready to run the demo. Now the start is up. I'm going to test our flow. Here we have the ID of the document recently created. And we can see here in the CMIS workbench, if we update this, we have the new folder, and inside the new document. For more detailed information on CMIS operations, check the API docs available in the GitHub repository. There are also Mule School entries on the MuleSoft blog that are helpful for understanding the Mule expressions or when integrating with other services. And now related to Mule ESV, you can visit MuleSoft website where webinars and other documentation is available under the resources option.